Lord, our tomb is empty. Snowy day out here, but students are in. They're going to hear the gospel. They're going to be white as snow, Isaiah 118. Praise the Lord. They got to repent and believe and surrender. Praise the Lord. Brother Robert's here. Amen. Like always, faithful soldier. Praise the Lord. No patient evangelism here. I don't see that in the Bible. Only biblical evangelism. Praise the Lord. The scriptures say, Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rules take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointing, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away the course from us. He that sits on the heavens laugh. God sees the wicked. God will continue verse 5. Then he shall speak unto his wrath, the vex, and them sore displeasure. Yet I set a king upon my holy hill of Zion. I would declare the decree. The Lord has said unto me, They are my sons, this day I have forgotten thee. And of me I shall lead a heathen, thy inheritance, the uttermost of the earth, for their possession. They shall break them with a rod of iron. They shall dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise, therefore, O you kings, be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, capital S. DC be angry and you perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are they that put their trust in him, the Lord. The heathen's raging. The heathen are battling against God. Girls dressing up modest, homosexuality, abortion, sex in the stairwells, masturbating, porno. The heathen's raging. Corrupted. You need to turn. You need to turn from being a heathen raging against a holy God and turn to the cross. Turn to Jesus Christ. Stop turning to your boyfriends dressing on modest. Stop turning to porno, masturbating, sexual desires, vain thoughts. Oh, the heathen raging. You're raging against a holy God when you live and sin, when you dress on modest, when you lie, when you steal. When you look at portal, when you disobey mom and dad, stop raging against God because God's furry wrath will be poured upon you and you will be turned into hell. You will be turned to ash. You no must ask Wednesday. This is the truth. You must be born again to enter the kingdom of God. Ash Wednesday does nothing for you. The ash is on your forehead. Do nothing for it. It's a bunch of dirt. Just like your sin is a bunch of dirt. You must turn from your sin and turn to a Savior, Jesus Christ, who can save you. He died on the cross for you and me. That you can stop raging against God with your vain thoughts. Christ Jesus made a way. He paid for all your sins at the cross. He died for the sins of the world. But are you out of faith? Are you willing to humble yourself to a Savior, Jesus, and have life? Are you willing to say, God, I submit to you. I'm willing to submit to the only begotten Son, Jesus. Are you willing to submit? Are you willing to cry out? Are you willing to turn to Him? Are you willing to say, God, I give up, I surrender? Or are you going to keep being heathens, raging against a holy God? You hate God when you live in sin, lying, stealing. Adultery, porno. You hate God when you live in sin. The thing is, you need to turn. You need to turn. Oh, I can't go home yet. God hasn't called me home yet. But thanks for your thought. Christ Jesus set me free. That I don't have to perish in my sin. I was hell bound. Now I'm heaven bound. Turn to a savior. Don't be deceived by lies. Don't be deceived by faculty yep. teachers that even sold drugs in the school system or sex in the stairwell system. That's not of God. That's 
fruits of the devil. Preach it. God wants, he wants fruits of the Spirit in your life, but you can't have that unless you repent and put your faith in Jesus that he died for you on the cross for your sins to save you from hell. And that he rose from the dead, you can have life. You must believe that message. You must be born again, or else you will perish. Turn! Turn! Hey buddy, what's up man? Stop turning your backs on God! Be intolerant. And turn to Jesus Christ, who can set you free! How many people got drunk this weekend? How many people got ashes on their forehead? He does nothing for it. It's like dirt. Take some soap, wipe it off. It's nothing. It's useless. You need the blood of Jesus. I used to be a Catholic boy. Oh, getting drunk and high, looking at porn. It does nothing for you. You got to repent and turn to Jesus Christ, who can save your soul from hell. Stop barking at God. Stop. Stop raging against God with vain thoughts. Stop and wake God and turn to Jesus Christ. He can set you free. You can have life through the King of Kings. Lord of Lord. It's an emergency. It's urgent. You're on the highway to hell unless you repent and surrender to Jesus Christ. You're on the highway to hell, destruction. You're doomed and you're sin. But somebody came to set you free. His name is Jesus. And you don't have to perish in your sin. Turn and be saved by the blood of Jesus. If you don't turn, you're going to burn in hell. Is that what you want? Or you want the love of God, the grace, the mercy, the comfort, to you know your sins are erased and you're set free. Oh my God! Turn, if you love you God, do you lie? Oh, I lie. Oh. oh, you look at porno? What? Do you look at porno? That's not loving God. That's my point. If you love God, you don't live like that. I'm not religious. I'm born again. I'm born from the Spirit. He goes, am I a religious man? No, I'm not. I am born again. God's changed my ways. God's changed my attitude, my purpose. Where well, I want to praise God and give God the glory in everything I do and even love the lost. Do you read the Bible? I'm okay. It looks like the one. Follower of Jesus. I remember reading the quote from the Bible. Okay, what's your quote? Please, Jesus. You pray to God. When you give all, when you when you fast, you should not do it so that everyone here can do it in the privacy of praying. Praying. This is a preaching. Preaching out loud. All right. We're back. We're back. He said we shouldn't pray in the public. We're not praying. We're, we're preaching the gospel to the lost, to the hell-bound sinner, that they could be heaven-bound through the blood of Jesus. You can have life. You can be saved. You can be whiter than the snow. Isaiah 118 says, you can be white as snow. Ezekiel 36 says, God can take the stony heart out and give you a heart of flesh to love God and have the spirit of God in you, not the spirit of liquor or no ashes on your head. You must want to turn from your sin and turn to Jesus and have life. Don't be deceived by entertainment Hollywood. Look at Michael Jackson. World tour canceled due to death. Due to death. What's next? So many people, big Hollywood stars, life gone. Even getting in trouble with the law. Look at Britney Spears. She can't even take care of her kids. Why? Because she don't have the spirit of God in her. You can never do the things of God when you live in sin. Do the things of God when you live in sin. So don't be deceived by entertainment, Hollywood, homosexual extremists, but turn to Jesus and have life. God can make a homosexual straight, a drunkard and sober, a liar tell the truth. Turn to Jesus and have life. Hey, the Lord, our tomb is empty. Snowy day out here, but students are in. They're going to hear the gospel. They could be white as snow, Isaiah 118. Praise the Lord. They got to repent and believe and surrender. Praise the Lord. Brother Robert's here. Amen. Like always, faithful soldier. Praise the Lord.
had a hold of to do. No patient evangelism here. I don't see that in the Bible. Only biblical evangelism. Praise the Lord.